Mitch. I just checked with your lawyer upstairs. He's trying to get you two guys out on your own recognizance. What the hell did you do this time? Trespassing, breaking and entering, vandalism, reckless driving. No, he was driving. You know, Mitch has always been trouble, but never this much. You're a bad influence on him. What are you guys up to? Quinn, I uh, need a favor. Next, he's going to say, you owe me one. Glad you didn't disappoint me. What? I want you to find an old Plymouth for us. And there's someone we got to talk to. You asked, we found it in a motel parking lot. You know, you guys may be onto something, but you're going to be disappointed. Forensics went over it with a, a fine tooth comb. It's clean. That's the one. Did you talk to the used car dealer? Oh, yeah. He can't ID Bristol. At least not so it'll hold up in court. I can. Still doesn't prove he murdered his wife. Let me check the speedometer. Come on, Mitch. Give me some credit. 226 miles since it left the used car lot. Just about a round trip to the beach house. Now, do you believe us? Take him, guys. Yes, sir. All right. You all right? Oh. Turn around, sir. Oh, I guess I owe you another one, Mitch. Come on. How could you know the plot of the book? We had a vision. Bristol, you have the right to remain silent. If you refuse the right to remain silent, anything you say can and will be used against you in a court.